This one comes to us from jsonline.com. And that's going to be the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel. Now, the man who called himself Maserati Mike uh, and showed up Wednesday with a long rifle outside the Kenosha County Courthouse is a fired Ferguson, Missouri police officer. I say that again. He was fired previously. Jesse T. Klein confirmed his identity to the Milwaukee Journal Sentinel on Thursday. That's Maserati Mike. Jesse T. Klein. Maserati Mike. Where does he get Mike from? Uh, wouldn't he be Maserati Klein? Also, in response to an inquiry from Journal Sentinel, Ferguson Police Chief Frank McCall Jr. wrote in an email, I can confirm that this is former Officer Jesse Klein, who was terminated, terminated by the Ferguson Police Department several years ago. A Ferguson police officer is out of a job and facing criminal charges. Police say Officer Jesse Klein threatened two people with a gun last night in Maplewood. He was arrested early this morning and fired as soon as his chief found out. Delrish Moore says he is disappointed and disheartened, and he won't tolerate behavior that tarnishes the badge. In recent days, Klein has been seen outside the Kenosha County Courthouse as the jury deliberates in the Rittenhouse verdict. On Wednesday, he showed up with his long rifle, and Kenosha County Sheriff's deputies asked him to put the rifle away. He complied. Of course he complied. He's like, he was a former cop. He knows they're going to shoot him. Now Thursday, which was yesterday, he was seen carrying a gun case. It could not be determined if it was empty, but he was also speaking out of a bullhorn and parading with a dog. He appeared to be in Kenosha to, in, uh, to support Rittenhouse. Now according to media reports, uh, reports, listen to this. So why was he fired? In August of 2018, according to media reports, Klein was arrested in the St. Louis suburb of Maplewood. He allegedly followed a woman he had been in a romantic relationship with to another man's house. KD, or KSDK.com reported that according to the charging documents, Klein jumped out of the man's backyard and pointed a gun at him. When the man refused to listen to Klein, Klein poked the man in the chest with the barrel of his gun. Klein then called the woman vulgar names and drove away from the home. He was off duty at the time of the incident and was charged with stalking, unlawful use of a weapon, and assault. And then, I guess, fired. Uh, in January of 2020, the charges were dropped, according to the St. Louis Post-Dispatch. They were dropped. You think there's a little blue line, blue gang going on there? No, they were dropped. The newspaper reported Judge Joseph L. Walsh III dismissed the case because the man's ex-girlfriend and a witness could not cooperate and failed to appear for court hearings and depositions, according to the officials of St. Louis County Prosecutor Wesley Bell. They were probably scared of the guy. I would think. Can't they get an affidavit from him and submit it? The newspaper reported the client was hired by Ferguson Police in November 2015 and was a member of the Patrol K-9 Division before his arrest. I wonder how many people he let his dog bite. Ferguson was at the scene of unrest in 2014 after the fatal shooting of Michael Brown by a police officer. Remember that one? <clears throat> now, Klein's identity was first reported on Twitter and had additional details, so forth. And it's in the article if you want to read it. Uh, the link is down below. But here's one where a former cop who apparently allegedly put a gun in a guy's chest and then started screaming and assaulting the guy. Charges were dropped simply because the witnesses didn't show up. I get that, but there's other ways around that. Well, he's not a cop no more. And now he's carrying a long rifle outside of a courthouse. Anyone ever see the movie A Time to Kill with Matthew McConaughey? Huh? All right, all right, all right.